Yo! What's going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger. And you are not seeing things, guys. We're playing some Madden 12 today. Some Madden Ultimate Team 12, that is. Throwback Thursday. Make sure you guys click that thumbs up if you want more of these. I occasionally do these on Thursdays. We go back and play old games. And I know I got a lot of Ultimate Team viewers out there. So I thought, you know what? I still got Mutt 12. Let's go back and play it. I'll show you my team really quick. Now, this wasn't like the team that I used way back when, when this game was new and everything. But this was my first Ultimate Team. And uh, brings back a lot of memories just looking at these cards, seeing these screens, hearing the music, uh, the music in the background of the game. So we'll look at my team real quick here. I got Ghost T.O., Andre Johnson, Pro Bowl, uh, Antonio Brown, Cover Vault Gronk. Uh, I remember this Cam Newton card was really, really good. I can't remember what award he won. Maybe Rookie of the Year, but it was like a uh, uh, NFL Honors card. We got AP on defense, Darrell Revis, Ed Reed, Clay Matthews, Cover Vote, Patrick Willis, James Harrison, Troy Palomalu, Namdi, Julius Peppers, Kevin Williams, DRC doing punt and kick returns, and we're rolling with the Steelers and defense. Our Steelers offensive playbook and Broncos defense. And I think I got like the black Jaguars uniforms. Let's switch them up. We'll go with, ooh, I wonder if they have the jerseys that I think I remember having. Nope. Thought there were some really dope Seattle ones that I had way back when, but I guess not. We'll go with these bad boys right here. So, uh, I wanted to bring you guys an online gameplay, but being that this game is pretty much like three years old, there's pretty much nobody on there, and I've been trying to do this for like a half hour, searching for somebody to play, I'd say more than a half hour now at this point, and I keep looking out. So, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to play a game against the computer. I think we'll take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. They have the highest rated computer use team. We'll put it on all mad and try to challenge ourselves. Let's play a game. So we got some gameplay here for you guys today in Madden Ultimate Team 12. And mainly what I wanted to focus on in today's video is let's discuss, and you guys can leave it in the comments. You can talk to me on Twitter about it. What is your favorite version of Madden Ultimate Team? So this game mode started in Madden 11. I never really played that one. I've heard from a lot of people that it was their favorite. And I would like to know for you vets of Madden 11, you guys who've been playing forever... What was your favorite part about Madden 11? What made it so good? If you have a different version that you liked, let me know. You know, what was your favorite part about it? Are there things that you think that they should bring back in this game mode? I, right off the bat, man, the main thing that I think they should do, and I don't know if they ever will, but I really like the idea of bringing back the capability of buying coins instead of packs, or just making it able to do both. Um, because... I don't, if I'm going to spend money on this game, which I occasionally do, the luck that I have with packs just is never very good. I'd rather be able to buy coins, you know, 20 PSN is going to buy me 150k worth of coins. That's going to stop people from selling their coins as well, because I know that's something that EA does not want people to do. Um, but I'd rather be able to buy coins so I can do what I want to do with those coins and basically go out and buy players off the auction house instead of spending them, uh, spending my money on packs and things that I'm probably not going to get a card for. Another thing that they really need to bring back is Gus Johnson. I know they won't, but let's just listen to the excitement in his voice here. Deep throw. The receiver gets past the coverage. And he's gone. Next stop, Pater. Oh, man. Gus Johnson was just epic in this game. But let's go back and talk about some of the previous mutts while we got time left in this video. And I want to give you some of my pros and cons. In Mutt 12, I think it was way too easy to make coins. And I know that probably sounds like a really good thing. But when everybody has a large amount of coins, the auction house just isn't that good and another thing that kind of hindered it was the fact that cards were capped for the most part all cards were 10,000 coins and then they bumped it up to I think the max some of the cards were were 30,000 coins I know there were some tricks where you could make it a bid only auction but it just involved way too much and I think that was something that they fixed 
in Mutt 13. A lot of people didn't like Mutt 13 because cards were way too overpowered, and that's something that I would certainly agree with, but I like that they uncapped the auction house. I also like that a lot of the collection rewards were able to be sold. That was something that you were not able to do in Madden Ultimate Team 12. So they made their adjustments there, and I gotta say, man, in Mutt 13, or I'm sorry, Mutt 25, I think they fixed a lot of their mistakes. They kept the uncapped auction house. They got rid of a lot of the overpowered cards to start things out. But then they gave us some bad things like non-tradable collectibles, non-auctionable collectibles, non-trade and auction reward cards. Those are things I'd like them to get away from. I don't mind the collections or collectibles so much in, in this year's game. I wouldn't mind if they brought them back because they're an easy way to make coin. But I say keep the uncapped auction house. Make sure all of our collection rewards can be sold. And uh, I could go on for days and days, but this video's over. I'm out. Peace.